Hi, welcome back. In today's video, we will experiment with creating halftone and raster effects. So let's go. By default, Affinity Photo has a very cool halftone filter. As always, I start by duplicating the layer with Command J. I will also rasterize and trim it to contain the image in the canvas. Let's now add a halftone live filter by using the layer new live filter menu. You can also of course use the shortcut button on the layers panel. You have the possibility to select various halftone options under the screen drop down. Let's explore them quickly. Pretty cool. Even though it's an amazing filter, it does not have a lot of options for customization, like using your own patterns. Let's try to replicate this filter ourselves. If we can replicate it, we probably can also customize it in many other ways. First, let's remove the filter. In order to achieve a half tone effect, I will be using the threshold adjustment. Let me demonstrate how the threshold adjustment can be used. If I add two circles, group them and apply a Gaussian blur with on top the threshold, we have a good base for experimenting. If I adjust the threshold, the circles become larger or smaller. If I adjust the Gaussian blur on the circles, we can control the interaction between the two circles and even can make it a line. With this information in our pocket, let's create a simple pattern with lines and see what happens if we apply this technique to it. I'm going to make a very simple horizontal lines pattern by drawing lines and duplicating them until the canvas is full. Once done, let's group it and put it under the threshold layer. Well, that's already pretty cool. If we add the Gaussian blur and adjust the blur and the threshold, we already have a very cool effect. We can add an additional curves layer in between to play with the contrast of the image to get more or less lines. To play more around with it, you can copy the horizontal lines to add more lines to it and move it to get different effects. You can also rotate it to add a vertical line to the pattern group, which creates a more traditional halftone circle effect. Once you have a pattern you can use in this halftone technique, you can go really crazy. Like if I copy the pattern group and apply a distort filter, for example a twirl creates a very interesting look. Pretty amazing. Another way of creating patterns for the halftone is by using the new pattern layer. Now, just draw with a pencil the pattern to get amazing effects. The 
this is really awesome. Let me share some other examples I had created earlier, just for inspiration. I hope you liked this video and thanks again for watching.